Hi, it's Jerry Gill from Gill Plumbing and Heating in Bedford, Ohio. And we're going to talk today about some main vents. And this is to the one we're going to talk about right now is the Gorton main vent. This is the Gorton number two. You can see the size of it. It's it's pretty good size air vent. Um, and it operates on a different principle than any of the other air vents that we're going to talk about. This vent is a bimetal. And it operates more like the old Honeywell thermostats that have the coil inside. Now, I took and I had, I had cut off the lid of this one. They're not removable in the field. But I cut it off, and what you see inside is the float. That's in case the system fills up with water. And it would float and go up and shut the air vent off. And here is a bimetal strip. And what this bimetal strip does is when it's heated, it will curl and it will drive up. You can see up on the top there's a ball that goes into the socket. And the bimetal will curl up and push the ball, the shaft and everything, the whole kit and caboodle will move and go up and close the air vent. So when, when it's in its rested state, when the system is cool, it's down here the air vent is open, the air can get out, the, the steam comes through the system, pushes the air through the pipe, goes around the bimetal, and goes out here and exits the air vent and gets out of the system. Then when the steam comes behind it, the heat will cause this to curl up and start to close and shut off the air vent when the steam gets there. Now. One of the peculiarities of this type of air vent is at about 110 degrees, this thing is going to start to close. It's going to start to move. At about 130, it may be closed. So that's, not, that's significantly lower temperature than, than say, a Hoffman. Um, so you have to keep that in mind of where you're going to put this thing. If you put this thing like right over the boiler, in the ceiling, and it's a hot boiler room ceiling, you may find that this thing shuts prematurely on you. So you have to keep in mind that it closes at, an, at a lower temperature than a, a regular thermostatic air vent. But again, it's a very simple device. It has a huge venting capacity. Pound for pound, this is the best vent on the market as far as if you want to move some air and you want to move it now. Um, but again, it's very simple. It has a float, it has the bimetal, and it has the seat. And there's really nothing else to this vent. Again, it is a very good vent, and it vents a tremendous amount of air.